life is real short. So you add up all your traveling, add up all your sleeping, add up all your school, add up all your entertainment, you've probably been half your life doing nothing. Most of you don't want success as much as you want to sleep. Some of you love sleep more than you love success. And I'm here to tell you today, if you're going to be successful, you've got to be willing to give up sleep. You've got to be willing to work off for three hours of sleep, two hours. If you really want to be successful, some days you will have to stay up three days in a row. Because if you go to sleep, you might miss the opportunity to be successful. That's how bad you've got to want it. I am the man, Muhammad Ali. I told you, all of my critics, I told you all that I was the greatest of all time. The separation of talent and skill is one of the, 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 the greatest misunderstood concepts for people who are trying to excel, who have dreams, that want to do things. Talent you have naturally. Skill is only developed by hours and hours and hours of beating on your craft. You know, while the other guy's sleeping, I'm working. While the other guy's eating, I'm working. There's no easy way around it. No matter how talented you are, your talent is going to fail you if you're not skilled. I'm young, I'm handsome, I'm fat, I'm pretty, and can't possibly be beat. I have wrestled with an alligator. I done tussled with a whale. I done handcuffed lightning, throw thunder in jail. That's bad. Only last week, I murdered a rock, injured a stone, hospitalized a brick. I'm so mean, I make medicine sick. Last night, I cut the light off in my bedroom, hit the switch, was in the bed before the room was dark. Incredible. Fast. Incredible. Never again defeat me. Never again say that I'm going to be defeated. Never again make me the underdog until I'm about 50 years old. Right. Then you might get me. Boxing is just to introduce me to the struggle. But my main fight is for freedom and equality. My money don't really mean nothing because I proved that when I gave up the title. Not knowing if I'm coming back or not for four years. Think about the fact that uh, he refused to enter the Vietnam War and um, how he was stripped of his title labeled a draft dodger, deemed a pariah by the United States of America, the government, how he was sentenced to five years in prison and a $10,000 fine. I'm not going to help nobody get something my Negroes don't have. If I'm going to die, I'll die now, right here fighting you. If I'm going to die, you my enemy. My enemy is the white people, not Viet or Chinese or Japanese. You my opposer when I want freedom. You my opposer when I want justice. You my opposer when I want equality. You won't even stand up for me in America for my religious beliefs. And you want me to go somewhere and fight, but you won't even stand up for me here at home. He got a why. He got a why. He ain't just playing for no championship. He not. You got to hear what I'm telling you. If y'all going to be great on that field, you got to have a why. You got to have a reason for why you do what you do. And you, George Fullman, all you chumps are going to bow when I whoop him. All of you, I know you got him. I know you got him, Dick. But the man's in trouble. I'm going to show you how great I am. I shook up the world! I shook up the world! I shook up the world! I shook up the world!